Rock band Slow Dive was formed in 1989, released three full-length albums, and then broke up in 1995. Their music was categorized in the genre of shoegaze, a name that wasn't originally considered to be all that flattering, and basically referred to the introverted way the singers stared at their shoes as they sang. Almost two decades later, Slow Dive got back together. On the 28th of July, they performed here in Hong Kong. We'll let them play us out for this week and this series of the works. See you after the summer. split yeah I mean we you know we've done three albums I think we did Pygmalion which was the last album and it was a strange record you know it was a strange record split for Slowdown and we didn't really we didn't really fit any, in anywhere at the time and and we got dropped by our label creation for like pretty much as soon as we released the record they dropped us <laughs> It, w it kind of felt like the natural end to everything, didn't it, really, it by did. that point? I don't think there was yeah. much discussion about it. I just think no. we were all a bit like, you no, know, no, Nick no, and Christian no. basically were like, I think we've had enough sort of thing. And, and um, I think we were all ready to kind of do something different. You know, we've been doing the band for six years at that point and, um, you know, touring a lot. But, you know, it was pretty non-stop, really, from when we signed to Creation mm -hmm. and that. Uh, I think everyone, everyone was just ready to do something different at that point. We were, you know, we were all like 24, I suppose, at that point. Yeah. Like after Big Manian, you know, a really sample-based record, and it was quite ambient, and, you know, almost electronic in the way it was made. And for me, I just wanted to do something like organic, you know, I wanted to do something that involved acoustic instruments. That set the kind of scene for Mojave, really. And you do need your kind of categories to an extent. Whether the bands themselves agree with the category they've been put into is another matter, I suppose. Well, it, it was quite a critical turn, really, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't it, a nice thing. It's kind of strange that in 20 years later it's now a kind of... Genre. Yeah. It's quite <laughs> odd. A recognised <laughs> genre. And in a positive way. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we, none, yeah. Of, none of the bands liked, liked that at the time, but it, it was... It no, was just yeah, I think it's really nice that, that people embrace that now. Well, I, you know, when, when we were kids and we were starting Soda, we were influenced by bands like Sonic Youth and the Cocteau Twins and My Bloody Valentine. And Mary Chain. Jesus and Mary Chain. But also, like, for us, I suppose, there was a big kind of 60s influence. Bands like Pink Floyd or Garage Bands, like the 13 Floor Elevators. And we always just wanted to use guitars in a way that was slightly different. The bands we really liked managed to use, make sounds that are kind of unique. We always just wanted to follow in that tradition, really, you know, be a guitar band that can be a psychedelic guitar band that, that have a different kind of thing going on. I mean, the, the I suppose the vocals really are, are mainly used just as another layer, you yeah. know, basically, it's just another layer to the cake. Yeah, I don't know, I think whenever they, whenever we mix the records, the guitar, the guitars would always be kind of... Focus. Pretty loud, and, and <laughs> the vocal, you know, it always felt like the vocals kind of worked better if they sank into the mix a little bit, you know. Uh, I mean, initially we, we talked about doing a record, you know. I guess it was the right time for everyone to think think that, well, yeah, maybe we could do that. And, and, and that it kind of followed on that we should maybe do some gigs first, you know. So that, that was kind of the impetus of doing this run of shows, really. Mm. And then obviously Primavera offered us a slot. We thought, yeah. we thought maybe we'd do maybe eight festivals, and it, I think it's around about 23 now. It just really exploded in a, a way that we weren't expecting. So I think it's kind of surprised all of us, hasn't it? You know, we're, we're definitely thinking about a new record for next year, and um, but we haven't made any plans in terms of... We're too busy hopping on and off yeah. planes at the moment to it's, think about yeah. anything else. So. Yeah, and, and still trying to work out the live stuff, really, to be honest. So, mm. um, yeah. Yeah, but I th we, 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 you know, I, in, for, for us, it's kind of, we, we play until the end of November, I think, and then I think at that point we'll probably be like, okay, should we think about a new record? Yeah.